Did you know that you love physics? Okay, maybe not yet, but let me try to convince you. Uh, my name is Ashley August, and I'm an instructor here in the physics department at Georgia Southern. Yeah, what do you like about physics? Everything. <laughs> I love everything. Now, I think knowing how things work and how to mathematically model them really intrigued me. And there's something so satisfying about how if somebody asks you, how long is that ball going to be in the air for? Or what happens to that electron if you put it in this type of environment? And actually coming up with some type of applicable solution. It's just something that just makes me so happy. <laughs> and if you're watching this video, you're probably using some type of device like a laptop or a cell phone. That device is probably using the internet and the internet is coming from that little black box in the corner that's plugged into the wall that's using electricity. So I don't know if you knew this, but that's all physics. It's all physics. And that is so exciting because that means you love physics because you're using it every day. Physics is broken down at the upper level into three different categories. There's classical mechanics, quantum mechanics, and electromagnetic theory. Electromagnetic theory sounds complicated, but break it down, it's electricity, magnetism. You guys know what a magnet is, you deal with electricity, and now we just know how to mathematically model that. Quantum mechanics, again, sounds complicated, but it's just the study of an atom and, and what's going to happen to that atom in, in different circumstances. Classical mechanics is just the study of classical mechanics where it's you have a ball and it moves. What happens and how do we mathematically model that? So as you get into being an upperclassman, you have those three major fields. Uh, other faculty here are working on a plethora of different things. There's Dr. Mark Edwards who works in quantum mechanics. And if you've ever watched the show The Big Bang Theory, I love that show. You've maybe heard Sheldon talk about a Bose-Einstein condensate. That's exactly what Dr. Mark Edwards studies. What you probably don't know is that with a physics degree, you actually aren't just limited to having a job in physics. For those of you that have heard of CERN over in Switzerland, you can actually work over there and mathematically model what's going on with the super collider. And if you've ever heard of the Higgs boson particle, you can do that. You can also go into finance. I know that's really shocking, but you, um, people in the finance industry are looking for students with the skills and the capabilities to model what's going on in the future. They're really looking for people that have the skills to problem solve. Um, for those of you that are considering becoming a doctor or a lawyer, when you major in physics, it sets you apart from the thousands and even tens of thousands of students applying. Why? Because in physics, you attain the skills to problem solve not only at the galactic level, but also at the atomic level. And when you have such a wide range of problem solving skills, it really is, that's the type of doctors that we want is people that can solve a problem at any type of level. Physics with a 96% rate of placement with the job, it opens a lot of doors for you to not only go into physics, but also go into engineering and as I mentioned before, finance, and it opens the door to many, many other fields. If you're looking to get a job and there's a 96% placement rate, that's definitely a field you may want to consider majoring in. You might be thinking, why would I want to major in physics at Georgia Southern? One of the first things that I noticed when I started working here was that there was a, a sense of family community. We're here for the students. That's, that's why we have these jobs. That's why we want to teach here. And there's a family atmosphere. So if you want to major in physics, especially here at Georgia Southern, that family atmosphere is something that you will have um, as you can probably call it your home away from home. You can ask any of the students and they know we all uh, really have their best interests at heart. For the students that enter the workforce after they graduated, they had to solve technical problems and worked in teams. Here in the physics department, for the first two semesters you take physics, you will be in a classroom style of called uh, studio physics. Studio physics is set up so that it is inquiry-based and student-centered. And what that means is that in the classroom, there's tables of teams. And so let's say in class, they're given a worksheet or a problem set. And instead of the instructor doing it on the board, the students now have to facilitate within themselves how to solve these problems and really learn how to work with each other and depend on each other. We want our students, when they get into the workforce, to have the skills needed, not just the physics knowledge. We want them to have the skills needed to be successful in the workplace so that when companies receive an employee or they decide to hire someone, 
from Georgia Southern that has a physics degree, they know they're getting something different. They're getting not only someone with the knowledge to do the job, but also the skills to work with others and problem solve.